this whole Wiley and Stormzy beef, this whole Wiley and Stormzy diss episode. Because now what's happened is, is that two of the UK's greatest artists, in my opinion, are at war with each other for some reason. Uh, now, I know Wiley came out and said something about Stormzy's mum. He said something, if he sees his mum in public, he's going to pull her wig off, uh, etc. Amongst other things he said. And Stormzy has retaliated with a series of videos uh, dissing him back. So... Uh, this whole beef thing, you know as well as I do, sometimes it's an industry stunt, sometimes it's something that they do just to promote something in the long run, but sometimes it's good to have a beef in public. So I thought I'd look at it and see whether there's anything interesting in this whole beef situation. Every time I turn the radio on, it's beef between Stormzy and Wiley. Beef, beef, beef. Now taking on board that two of these artists these two artists are the uk's biggest artists you know wiley is an mbe which means a member of the british empire beefing storms is won awards all over the globe you know this guy is trending every single day on the radio this guy goes into primary schools and teaches young people about how to stay away from trouble and you know and motivates them which I, I love that about Stormzy I love that he's now become an icon for young boys not only young black boys but young boys and girls in general it's a great role model and then they come out with this this series and I'm wondering is it necessary so I'm going to look at this track here called Still Disappointed this is a Stormzy track called Still Disappointed and this is in retaliation to Wiley's uh let's call media threats so i'm going to play this now and uh, I, I won't make any judgments until it after I've, I've seen it or enough of it and then we can start talking about whether or not there's anything that's actually whether there's any substance in this or whether it's just another stunt uh for the media so it starts off with flames i love that great looking video Storms is still disappointed. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before we even get into the lyrics there, is Storms is smoking a spliff? That can't be right. I didn't even know Storms is smokes. Is Storms is smoking a spliff? That's the first time I've ever seen that. Smoking a spliff and drinking a cup of tea in the beginning of a video. That's the first time I've seen that. Now, just I'm just trying to imagine all these young people that Stormzy tries to motivate. Uh, and then they go and watch this video and, and it starts off with him smoking a spliff. I don't know. Let's watch. Loving the music. The visuals by Calum. Great visuals. Alright, one more dab and it's back to business. I'm a rule G and your dad's a witness. Boy, you draw a broad and your sister begged it. I told that little bitch don't ask for pictures. Yeah, I do this thing for... Oh, now the swearing comes in, you see. So, so what I'm getting from this is that Stormzy's now uh, called Wiley's little sister a bitch. It sounds like it's heating up. Fitness. Put them cowie boys in business. Fallouts at the next family function. The cowies are gonna have a book of Christmas. So why you love to talk about mum so much? So much. Where, where's yours? Where's yours? Let, let me just allow it. Let me just pause. pause. No. Like I said, Wiley came out and said something about Stormzy's mum. You know as well as I do, the mum jokes don't go too far without retaliation. Now, if you're gonna threaten to pull somebody's wig off in public, it's almost like fueling this retaliation. Come on, Wiley, you can't do that to somebody's mum. So it sounds like, this is just me, remember I'm older, I don't know this, I'm trying to break this down. Sounds like somebody shot at Wiley's house looking for Wiley shot some bullets into the house and Wiley has had to move his mum to Cyprus so thanks Stormzy for telling us that uh, Wiley's mum is now in Cyprus 
leave the country I never wanna hear you say free the man then Let's go Cyprus and go free your mumsy Got mumsy banged up abroad All because her son was a fraud I can't handle this So she handles dick like I handle the war Handle the war So now Stormzy's talking about how Wiley's mum handles dick You can kind of see how this stuff can get out of hand, right? Because Stormzy talking about Wiley's mum in a sexual way like that is going to it's going to perpetuate uh, these <laughs> a little bit further. I mean, if somebody was to talk about my mum like that, I don't know what I would do, but he's clearly talking about his mum in a sexual way. Nothing ain't funny anymore Cause I'm not a happy bunny anymore Doesn't really wanna bring it to your mummy anymore So your dad can't defend your bro And you can't defend your mum And I wonder what she thinks All the males in your family are weaklings Gather round man, this is just a pre drink Ripping the weep off my mum's head Okay bro, that's a lie What, what we telling facts or jokes? Oh, oh shit, I forgot, this is grand So say what you like then That all the dubs, let's have a fight then Don't mention them niggas, I don't like them Fuck all them niggas, they ain't my friends So don't hack them Come on Stormzy now You were winning up to then and then you started with the N-word. What's with the N-word? You are a UK sensation. There's no need to use those words. Young people are listening to you. You know, two of the country's biggest talents calling themselves the N-word. I don't get it. I don't get it. Mum's life, man, I'd rather kick him in the mouth, huh? Niggas got private, it's bigger in the south, huh? You weren't on it, and your dad weren't on it Guess your mum should have had a real nigga in the house to defend her Bro, we're broken women, I wanna mend her Yes, fuck her back in them bender Got so much love and I wanna lend her Got so much money, I wanna... <laughs> He's back on the mum thing again. He's got so much loving he can lend while his mum. This is going to get worse. Send her. Where can I send it? Yeah. Well, you're putting her through. I want to end it, please. I like that you're not self-centered. You open the door and look who entered. Oh, it's the king of grand, king of grand. How's he the king of grand? We're on drill. Now I'm the king of grand. I won't chill. The king of grand, oh, it's no big deal. Good though. See this thing? Yeah, I run that. Brother. Keep, keep your crap. We don't fund that. Brother. Come, come on the mission and let your gun clap. I'm going to start petition to get your mum back. Don't she want to come back? Come back. Come back. Oh, Lord. You got mumsy banged up abroad. You got mumsy ran off the ends. Yeah. And it's foul because it ain't her fault. Yeah, yeah, she was trying to relax. But her son got caught in the war. One day there's dons at the door. Then next day he broke terminal four. It's a shame. What she needed was a strong man in the house. Yeah. Fuck that. I'm going to be the man in your house. It's like, we all come home. There's a man in the house. Like your mum was the only real man in the house. Yeah. Shower on the rhythm and I'm shower on the mat. Your mum was the only real man of the house. <sighs> it's deep. Steve. Thought it was love, you were sour on the slide. You fuck boy, let me know how you wanna die. 24 hours to reply. So Wiley's got 24 hours to reply. <laughs> That's how Stormzy ends the video. Uh, be interested to know what you think about this war or this beef or this this series. Uh, whether it's gonna perpetuate into something greater than it it appears to be, because it's all over the radio, it's trending, it's on Twitter. It's on all the social media platforms. Is it true or is it just hype? I don't know. I'm going to leave this one to you. Comments below. Do like, do subscribe, do follow the movement. Do you.